it's smooth both in terms of acceleration and deceleration for regen. We know Australia is going to love what the new Mac Anthem stands for and what it delivers. It's unique to Australia. The motor, the heart of the vehicle. Even trucks that are manufactured specifically for long distance use can sustain damage after such an excursion. Which brings us to this. The Tesla Semi enters the Class 8 truck market with a breakthrough motor that can dominate the traditional engine of the Mac Anthem. But what engines do these two trucks use exactly? And how powerful are they? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel. Before I begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing that bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. Mac engines are renowned across the trucking industry for their power, reliability, and versatility, making many describe these engines as the heart of a legend. But which engine does it actually use? And your bottom line. The aerodynamic design combined with the fuel economy improvements from the MP8 engine. The Anthem is available with three Mac diesels, the MP7, 8, and MP8HE. A Cummins natural gas engine is also available. However, the MP8 engine is a legend on roads everywhere. It boasts 415 to 505 horsepower and 1,460 to 1,860 pound-feet of torque. With plenty of horsepower and torque across a wide operating range, the MP8 delivers the muscle to shoulder heavy-duty vocational and highway workloads. And what engine does the Tesla Semi use? Is it more powerful than Mac Anthem's engine? We're using the Carbono wrap sleeve, so essentially we're using the, 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 the Plaid Model S, Model X uh, powertrain. The Tesla Semi is equipped with a new three-motor system consisting of three independent electric motors. The electric motors have carbon-sleeved rotors, the same as in the Tesla Model S and X Plaid. Assuming the Semi is making the same amount of power as a Plaid, it's making 1,020 horsepower and 1,050 pound-feet of torque. We see that the Tesla Semi's electric motor has three times more power than the Mac Anthem's. But what about their power? You have the torque and power to do it. And the cool thing is that these are clutched automatically. A Mac Anthem takes about a minute to reach any type of top speed. But in comparison, without the payload, the Tesla Semi could accelerate like a mid-range sports car from zero to 60 in just around five seconds. But with a full load, it's supposed to be capable of the same feat in 20 seconds, which is enough power to accelerate up mountains. Sure, that sounds slow compared to the average car these days, but it's three times faster than the Mac Anthem. Now, how does the operating cost of a Tesla Semi electric motor compares to that of the Mac Anthem's gasoline engine. For the average truck owner, cost of ownership is paramount. Musk says diesel trucks will cost 20% more to operate at $1.51 per mile versus $1.26 per mile for the semi. The cost can fall further to about 85 cents a mile, according to Tesla, if groups of trucks travel together in convoys, which reduces wind drag. This beats rail, Musk said. Tesla says the figures were calculated using a one 100 mile route, an average speed of 60 miles per hour, an 80,000 pound payload, $2.50 per gallon of diesel, and a 7 cent per kilowatt electricity price. The point the company is trying to make is that the electric truck's high initial price can be recovered by low operational costs and minimal maintenance costs. But to achieve such efficiency, how do the engines of the Mac Anthem and the Tesla Semi work? The Mac Anthem is delivered with its own powertrain, including engines, transmission axles, suspensions, and exhaust after treatment systems. With a common rail fuel system, this direct injection system delivers ultra-precise control over fuel injection pressure, timing, and volume. The result is more power and efficiency with less engine noise. The previous generation MP8 weighed approximately 2,676 pounds, while the new engine comes in at around 2,560. This engine uses high-efficiency energy recovery technology to capture lost energy, convert it to torque, and reduce fuel consumption. It's made to be as fuel efficient as possible. In contrast, much like Tesla's passenger models, the Tesla semi-motors are as small as the size of a basketball, which is impressive. 
The first rear axle has one electric motor, which is constantly engaged through a single speed reduction gear and optimized for highway driving. Two other electric motors are used on the rear axle to drive the left and right wheels individually. They are optimized for acceleration and torque. Depending on the circumstances, the two rear motors are automatically and seamlessly engaged or disengaged mechanically from the drive axle to minimize energy losses. Tesla also had videos demonstrating the truck's durability and survivability that showed it running over objects, running through deep puddles, loose dirt roads, snow-covered roads, and even washboard paths to prove it's ready to tackle myriad driving scenarios. Tesla added that its semis were running 24-7 between Sparks, Reno, Tahoe, and Fremont to ensure readiness to meet the demands of heavy hauling. While trucks are the most heaviest cause of pollution on the road, releasing hundreds of thousands of tons of exhaust gases into the atmosphere every year, how then do these two engines affect the environment? Combination trucks, of which the vast majority are semi-trucks in the US, account for just 1.1% of the total fleet of vehicles on the road. However, they have the highest fuel consumption due to their weight and heavy utilization, and account for approximately 18% of all US vehicle emissions. An average gasoline-powered Mac Anthem will release about 33 tons of CO2, or carbon dioxide, during a 100,000-mile lifetime. When both manufacturing and operation are considered, the Tesla Semi emits about 10 to 24 percent less greenhouse warming potential than conventional vehicles over a similar lifetime. Thus, solving the environmental problems of mankind is the most basic task for Tesla. The Tesla Semi is designed to solve this problem and remove the heaviest polluters from the roads. So there you have it. The truck revolution brought to you by Tesla. Now, if Tesla can just hang on, start making money, and become profitable, we could see these in two years. The future would then be electric. Do you prefer an electric motor or a gas-powered engine? How do you feel about the future of the Tesla Semi? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Otherwise, that's it for today's episode. We sincerely thank you for watching and for all of your support of our channel. As always, if you enjoyed our video, please leave us a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs and green technology. Once again, we thank you so much and we hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care and be safe.